My name is Caroline Tan and I am the director of the production. Wolf Play is about a Korean boy uh, who was adopted by an American family, but subsequently the American family decides to rehome him, which means that they put him up again for adoption on the internet, bypassing the legal institutional way of doing that. And um, he gets adopted by a lesbian couple, which sparks the conflict of the play when the original adopting family realizes that they would prefer this Korean boy to have a father figure in his life. In our version of Wolf Play, we are we've, we're interested in creating a machine that, that kind of functions on stage and a machine that you can see every mechanism of. The set is extremely bare and it's extremely exposed. I was very interested through this play in the idea of performance and not just the idea of like the actor performing. Obviously the actor is performing, but the idea that everyone in this play is performing to a particular kind of norm or expectation in American society and how they either meet or fall short of that particular expectation. Society is based on our own individual inability to fall short of some kind of idealized norm. So there is the idea of what it is to be the perfect athlete, the perfect parent, the perfect father, the perfect mother. and. In this play, I think every single person's idea of what that is gets challenged and this play to me is about how these people rise to or fall short of that challenge and I, through the staging of the play and the world that we've created, I was really interested in interrogating that tension. The thing that really like spoke to me about the play was the alienation of every character. It feels like everyone it's a misfit in some sort of way uh, and it's about how they lean into or lean away from that idea of not of being out of joint with the place that they're in. I was very fascinated also by the question of this puppet. Uh, I've read the 2016 draft of this play, you know, so from the beginning I had questions about why we have a puppet on stage for the child when technically you could just have an actor playing that child. And I think that the play leaves a lot of uh, space to explore the question and doesn't offer a really easy answer to why. So that was an interesting theatrical question. So like everybody else, I started out wanting to be an actor. I started out wanting to be Christine and Andrew Lloyd Webber's Phantom of the Opera. This is very specific and very true. Anyway, I moved to the United States and then I realized that it's not that your casting options are pretty limited when you look like me and more importantly when you sound like me. I don't, I don't sound American and I never will. So I decided it wasn't very practical to become an actor. And then when I was in college, um, the Singaporean group on campus offered me the opportunity to write and direct my own show. And I was like, great, maybe this would be a chance to make space for people who look and sound like me. So I wrote a show and then I directed it. And, and it felt like a responsibility that I should be taking on, not just... Like acting was the thing that I wanted to do, but then directing felt like the thing that I was actually supposed to do. Ooh, none of these answers are going to be popular. You have, you have to be responsible for everything even when it's not your fault. I think that is the biggest lesson I learned as a director. Um, now, more, more seriously, um, I, I think it is the director's job to set the container um, through which everyone is working and to be able to communicate the parameters of the assignment in a way that allows everybody to bring the most of themselves into that container and then to get out of everybody's way so that they can do the best job that they can. I hope that people will walk away with a bit more of a curiosity of like how transnational adoption works and the white supremacy culture that feeds into that phenomenon. Um, I don't know that the play itself sets a very particular uh, stance on that, but I hope at least it would spark curiosity about how this happens and why this happens. I hope people will walk away from this with some questions about family, specifically how they choose their family, how they would define their own families, and what they would do for the people they consider family, and when that is right and when that is going too far, or if it's ever possible for it to go too far.